one and I've got something for the boys. So I've already posted a video of feminine fragrances that are perfect for Valentine's. Now I have some masculine fragrances. So of course, when I say feminine masculine, I just mean that they lean traditionally masculine in that they're woodsy, vetivery, less sweet, less floral. That's all. Of course, anyone can wear any of these fragrances and I absolutely love to wear a couple of these fragrances but i think they are all gorgeous and perfect for a date night let's get started i've got niche and designer here by the way so let's start with a designer and this is chanel chanel allure home edition blanche so this one some people feel is more suitable for summer because of the lemon and the bergamot which give it a freshness but i personally think that it's all season round because it's got some good base notes it's got vanilla tonka woods vetiver it's got sandalwood in there and when you first spray it you get this gorgeous lemony fresh opening but very very quickly you get woods and the sweetness comes through over time to make it a little more cozy. But it is very much a masculine fragrance because it's a lot of woodsiness, vetiver. And I'd say that's the main aspect of this perfume is the woodsiness of it. And I think it's a really great option for date night. If you want to be a little more conservative, a little less loud, a perfect sort of early on date if you don't really know your date that well i think you can't really go wrong with a bit of uh, freshness followed by some woodsiness and a tiny hint of sweetness a really good one and it's a classic who doesn't love chanel so let's go with a niche this one is a bit pricey i'm not gonna lie it's a bit costly but if you can get a good deal on it I think it is amazing for a date. It's a really great special occasion fragrance. It would also make a, an amazing Valentine's gift because it is gorgeous. The bottle is stunning and the way that it smells is so good and it is unique. So it's Creed Spice and Wood and I've sprayed a little bit on a piece of paper here. I bought this for Dan, uh, Mr. Smelly as a moving in gift later last year he loves it he's worn a lot it was pretty much full i didn't buy it brand new but it was pretty much full when he uh when he got it he's used quite a lot he really does like this one especially on special occasions there's a note of apple it's a little bit spicy in the dry down you get quite a lot of vetiver but it's very dry very clean it doesn't go gourmand but it edges towards gourmand with that spicy apple accord it lasts really really well i've worn it myself i don't think it's too masculine that i can't wear it very very classy and it, you stand out from the crowd in that one so now let's go with a designer again i've actually got two uh, two options from the same or well, the same name as such Fahrenheit from Dior and then we've got the Fahrenheit Parfum here and we've got this is actually vintage eau de toilette so you could pick either they are perfect for dates I would go with the eau de toilette if you want something a little more rugged and more masculine leaning because this has got more of a stronger petrol note the woodsiness is more rugged there's mandarin in both of these fragrances but the eau de toilette is definitely the more rugged and more masculine of the two and then the parfum here is more rounded there's vanilla it's really smooth it's less uh, sharp it's less um it's less naughty really so this is more well behaved that's probably why i prefer the eau de toilette actually although this is gorgeous if i was going to wear one i would wear this because it just has that extra vanilla that makes it feel a little more me uh if dan asked me what one should i wear what one's sexier i would go with the eau de toilette 
but they are both really really good options love a bit of fahrenheit it does remind me of my younger years when uh, i used to go chasing boys don't do that anymore yet yeah, so that was the eau de toilette oh so good so good and then the eau de parfum they are so good so good so let's go with a niche again another one that i did buy for dan Bortnikov, it's Bortnikov, Borch, Borchnikov, Borchnikov from Fort and Manly. I've just dropped the testing strip on the floor. That's not it. There it is at this end. Oh my goodness, do I love this one. Now this is if you want to stand out and you want to be a little bit different. Perhaps you're a little bit eccentric even because this is kind of a little bit crazy but it's so good so it is a lavender fragrance i don't always notice the lavender it doesn't smell like a traditional lavender smell as you walk past the lavender bush i don't really get that it's more there's a real syrupy sweetness to this fragrance but it's not too sweet not it's not cloying it's not sugary it's kind of a bit green there's a lot of depth going on here. Some really rounded, smooth, kind of ambery, resinous notes. It's super sexy, super sexy, but it's not gonna be for everyone and it's definitely not a blind buy. But if Dan wore that on date night, I think we would have a fun time. I really like it. So next, I'm gonna go with a designer. It's another Dior actually, and it's Dior Parfum. This is my favourite of all the Dior Homme line. The reason being, it's so sexy once you get to the dry down. So when you first spray it, you may not think it's that different from Dior Homme Intense. Now I sprayed this on here over an hour ago now. And on paper it develops a lot slower. So on skin, it would be uh, going through the journey a lot sooner. But on paper, it still smells a bit like Dior Homme Intense, that woodsy nurse, that iris, almost a violety iris thing, very powdery. But on skin, it starts to develop and it gets really salty, woody, salty, woody, sexy, salty, woody. It's so difficult for me to explain. Kind of like a piece of driftwood, but there's something just, just so sexy about it. It becomes almost human on skin if does that make sense i don't even know but all i can tell you is that i find this extremely sexy on skin after the initial hour or so it's gorgeous still hum half um i i think it might be being discontinued but i'm not sure i haven't had that confirmed there's definitely rumors going around if you love it you should probably get a backup bottle but it is gorgeous it's very sexy and it's definitely the most masculine of the dior home line in my little opinion so finally this one i don't know if there's that many videos about this one yet on youtube i'll show you the box it's called cacophony and it's by parfums vintage and they always come with these great boxes with a great image on the back cacophony is inspired by Cora Mondale from Chanel and it's actually quite a patchouli dominant fragrance which is really surprising because I don't actually normally like an overdose of patchouli in a fragrance I've got this one on my hand because oh, there's something so sexy about this fragrance on paper the development's definitely different to how it is on skin as usual but on paper it's like you get a bit of a citrusiness mixed in with the patchouli. So the patchouli is not too heady and over the top. And it's really smooth and silky and cashmere like. It's like wearing your favorite softest, bestest jumper. It just wraps you in this lovely warm glow. Now what I found is when I wore this and I got someone a jumper, when I picked up the jumper the next day, 
it smell amazing. This is gorgeous on clothes. I can't compare it to Coromondel because I don't own a bottle and I don't think I have a decant at the moment. We did smell Coromondel yesterday at the Chanel counter while we was at Blue Water and the opening of Coromondel definitely reminded me of that. So my guess is it's pretty spot on but I can only tell you about that because that's what I know. Cacophony, I think, is stunning. It's based on the Eau de Toilette version of Coromondel, and yet the performance is out of this world. I've worn it a couple of times, and it really, really lasts. I think it's really snuggly, cosy, sexy, kind of, you know, hanging out by the fireplace, date night kind of thing. You don't even have to love patchouli because I generally don't but for some reason even though there's quite a lot of patchouli this one is really really lovely well worth checking out so that is everything let me know what you're planning to wear on your Valentine's date night or do you even do Valentine's thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video